Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xeno Crash. And where we last left off, Chapter 11 of 18, Return. Quite a narrative part here where we're given a gun. We don't really move all that much on this level. Our chapter. This place was forgotten by all creatures with reason. But I assure you, it is the shortest path to return to your home. And honestly, probably the safest one. Ironically, after you see what we're up against. Another one of those shadows. It's dead. Not dead. Broke. Oh boy. This is one of those kinds of. Oh. Ah, I missed. There we go. This is one of those kinds of levels where it's sort of a change of pace from the rest of the game. Sort of like, you know how in Gunstar Heroes, the second to last level, as you, uh, flying a rocket ship around? This is essentially our rocket ship level. Uh, we don't need to worry about protecting anyone aside from ourselves. Deidre, as you already know, if she gets hit enough, ooh, excuse me, she falls and will get herself back up. And uh, Golem, he has unlimited health. He will never fall. So half the time, I'm not gonna say because they're gonna say something, and then no, okay, they're not gonna say anything. Right. Well, generally when we get into battle wall, Golem is with us. He actually stands in a portion of the map that's actually just outside of our reach. And I'll show you what I mean when we get into battle uh, off of this off of this boat. Oh, there's another one. Or another two. And they died for no reason. Alright. <laughs> they just kind of <laughs> went and killed themselves. That's a cack and weird story, bro. But very important, and something that can make you think. The kind of thing that I would draw inspiration from when I write comics when I'm not let's playing. Oh, would my closer friends know that? There we go. I swear I'm hitting these guys. Sorry if I'm not saying a whole lot. Like I said, this is a pretty narrative portion there's not a whole lot of movement essentially we are just waiting for golem to paddle this boat from one end of the uh ow one end of the other uh, bah, 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 river to the other and oh, i can't believe i missed that all right whoa there we go there we go and that's pretty much it. This is just a a waiting game for this level. Let's survive. That's it. And I like that. It's a nice, actually, it's a really nice cooldown, especially after the last level. Like, I legitimately feel pretty relaxed. Just kind of, this is like hunting. Just being on a boat, shooting it. Ow! Shooting it.
looking at wild creatures. Ah, oh, no. Not that I've actually ever been hunting. Oh, come on! I just reloaded! Oh, that interrupted me again. Alright, hey, so much for calm and relaxing, right? Well, I finally have my weapon reloaded so I can shoot these blasted monkeys. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got you and got. We should be looking forward when shooting at them. But uh, I'm not doing a very good job. I've got some shit. <laughs> do you really know everything about us? I want to hear you tell our story. First, Gat left his family to learn from the Gorwit. If you may call that learning. Then he returned to Halston. It is by chance and not virtue that Gat discovered a flaw in Father Mother. That's what I want to know. What was the problem with Father Mother? Gat hasn't told you yet. I should let him decide when to tell you. After that, both Gat's and Father Mother's reaction was irrational and violent. I consider both to be criminals. Hmm? Criminals. That is another way. After Gat fought Father Mother, he ran away. And you, Deidre, were most kind. Too kind. Saving him from apathy and searching for safety with him. Another little bit of uh, atmospheric undertone there is not knowing a word such as criminal. Just one other thing hinting that this world may be some sort of Pope's apocalyptic place. Actually, this whole area reeks of post-world mortem. Did that boat ride really take ten minutes? I'll check it out later. Don't like Corwoods then. If you won't try to find coherence in the world, have the courtesy of becoming apathetic instead of affecting others with your pointless actions. Why do you hate the Corwoods so much? They're just insane. I wish that were true, but each one of them has chosen this. We aren't so lucky this time, Deidre. We won't get through the woods without a fight. You hear that music? It's Chinero's music. And it gets most Corwoods all feisty. And what are you so happy about? It's the music. It gets to me too. If we get rid of Chinero, the other Corwoods will calm down. Alright. We have something of a mini boss fight here. Chinero. He gives, and he only shows up in this one level, so that's also pretty cool. Chinero gives strength to all the Corwoods, and they will not stay down so long as he keeps playing. They get up so fast. Fortunately, the game has armed us with a crossbow so that we can silence Chinero as fast as possible. Ah! Oh, there we are. Where's the bow? Oh, I don't have time for this. Now the Corwids can still be defeated, but they won't oh, stay down from being knocked out and such. And as you see, they're... Oh, see how... Uh, the, damn it. Surge tanky and get away from me. The girl there, she... I oh, don't want to lock onto any of you. I want this. If you notice... 
there was something of a little flame that engulfed them in an animation when they got up and they get themselves up a lot faster. Let's watch this guy. Well, okay, that was a horrible example. It didn't happen to him. But when this flame... Go when this flame goes around the core wings, that is an indication that they're getting up much faster because of the music. Of the music. Wow, where is my grammar today? That was just, just shooting rage in the air there. Oh, they will get on there. Well, in that case, I'll take advantage of this opportunity! Oh, okay, I'm hurting. Where is that? Whoa! Get out of my way, Surge. Get out of my way, Janeiro. Get out of my way, Fire. All right. Now look, I know I'm supposed to be shooting at Janeiro, but these little guys keep getting in my way. Stop being so happy about everything. Now, uh, just to uh, prove how close we are to Halstum, uh, after that boat ride, is, uh, obviously Gat knew Chiniro by name. There aren't just a bunch of them that maybe look alike and have the same name, no. Uh, we are in the exact same woods that we fought in near the beginning of the game, even though, you know, it doesn't exactly look like it. These are the same Corwood woods. I would assume so, at least. That is what I gather from uh, all of the exact same core with. Alright, now while she's down, quick shoot Shinero, which is. Now he's dead. Now the rest of them will fall much easier. But you think we're done here? Oh no, we're not done. Oh yeah, up there on that ridge, uh, Gollum and. Deidre are. You know, chilling. Now I need to point out something real fast. Is uh, hang on. Get down! Oh God. Well, if you can see, while I fight this, I'll try and stay angled at the build at them. Ah hell! Look at Gollum. Look at how he's sitting. He is messing with something in his hands, and you will see this certain something at the end of the game. Again, very plot important. Can't go into spoiling everything right now. As much as I'd like to, but uh, I'm not that kind of me, not that that, that kind of orc. I just I can't go around spoiling everything like that. That would be just horrible of me to be like, oh look at that, you know what that is, you know why he's got it. I yep yeah, spoiled the game for you. That's what it just did. <laughs> that was sick. And then kick him while he's down. Dead. Oh, 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 one more right in the butt. <laughs> you can get him right in the butt, that's bonus points. It adds up at the end of the game. Kind of like in Medal of Honor where it tells you how many groin shots you get. I mean, what? And if you haven't played Medal of Honor, that's true. The older Medal of Honor games, I don't know about the new one that was just simply called Medal of Honor, but ones like Rising Sun and uh, the one before it. What was it called? I don't know, it was the fourth and fifth games. Why didn't we fight? When we meet Gat's brothers, we could use a little more help. That is not a power help. Anyway, yeah, they actually did... Oh, no, Cabell! They actually did count how many times you would shoot enemy wow. soldiers in the groin. Alright, Gat and Deidre versus Cabell. If you did notice, yeah, Deidre's head is up there and she does provide fire support. So, if we can get near this mountain, she will shoot at the enemy. Ow! That can be very helpful. Can be. When and if she shoots. Like that. I think Gabelle might actually be immune to it. And that is why he's sort of luring me out here into this woodland area. But uh, I won't let him... I won't let him beat me. Oh, no! He's hiding behind... What are those called? Rockbirds! Rockbirds! No! Oh, 
Oh wow, Gabel just destroyed his own <laughs> rat birds. Well, hey, buddy! I'm digging his crotch piece there with all the all the spikes coming off of it. That's actually really cool. I, if I was a giant pigman, I would wear that. No joke. But uh, I am not a giant pigman, so you won't see me wearing any spiky armored crotch pieces anytime soon. Or see me really dressed in anything specific on that note. Ow! Alright, Gabel, do me a favor, you wanna kill the round birds again? That was very helpful. Alright, we're good. Where are you? Isaac Clark ain't got shit on Gad. Alright, no, I take that back. Actually, the Necromorphs are pretty friggin' scary, but Gabel is scary too. Alright, we're done here. Cape Johnson, we're done here. <sighs> Alright. I am worn let's out. Let's continue. Yeah, let's. This should be our last camp before leaving the woods. And on that note, while we are camping, I think it's about time to cut off. Uh, so as usual, thank you so much for sticking around watching more Let's Plays in a Clash and stay tuned because there's definitely more uploading while this one is. So, I'll see you in whatever I'm playing after this video. And until then, I'll be done. say anything all right well generally when we get into battle wall golem is with us he actually stands in a portion of the map that's actually just outside of our reach and I'll show you what I mean when we get into battle uh, off of this off of this boat oh there's another one or another two and they died for no reason all right <laughs> they just kind of Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xeno Crash. And where we last left off, Chapter 11 of 18, Return. Quite a narrative part here where we're given a gun. We don't really move all that much on this level, or chapter. This place was forgotten. Oh boy. This is one of those kinds of. Oh. Ah, I missed. There we go. This is one of those kinds of levels where it's sort of a change of pace from the rest of the game. Sort of like, you know how in Gunstar Heroes, the second to last level, as you, uh, flying a rocket ship around? This is essentially our rocket ship level. Uh, we don't need to worry about protecting anyone aside from ourselves. Deidre, as you already know, if she gets hit enough, ooh, excuse me, she falls and will get herself back up. And uh, Golem, he has unlimited health. He will never fall. So half the time, I'm not gonna say because they're gonna say something and then. And honestly, probably the safest one. Ironically, after you see what we're up against.